What's good, YouTube? Yeah, I know I'm on tour right now. Um, and I'm on tour with, with Kevin Gates. And like before the shows and that shit, this nigga be like working out. And I had chopped it up with him. Cause I haven't been working out, I haven't been eating healthy. I've been eating pizza, cupcakes, wings and shit like that. And I be asking him like, what he be eating? And he said he be eating like vegan food. So I was like, shit, let's do a mukbang. So I'm about to go over to his bus right now, do a mukbang with him. I asked you, I ask me some questions on Twitter or whatever. And um, I'm about to eat some vegan food. Before we start the video, do me a favor, smash the like button, no cap man, hey. I, I got a show in Orlando. Stay in Orlando, or if you're in Florida, period, I got a show November 4th. It's my own show. Link in the motherfucking bio description. I need y'all to pull up ASAP. No cap, get your tickets right now. Orlando, November 4th. Get them before they sell out. That's California. You need it? I do good day. This jackfruit must be. What's good, you too? With my dog. Start off, start off, start off. No, it's alright, it's alright. We good. I'm scared. I'm nervous. <laughs> With my dog, Kevin Gates. What you guys eating? Um, these jackfruit tacos. What's jackfruit? It's a fruit, but it's like a. It's like a, it's, it's like a replica of meat. It's not meat, but it is. It's like a meat substitute. What's the point of being vegan? When you being well, animal products, they put plaque in your vein and plaque like the plaque that be in your teeth. Something like that, but it's plaque. It's like build up, and by your body not getting enough chlorophyll, then chlorophyll is what's naturally produced in vegetables. It's like the plant blood. So if you eating a lot of animal products and you're not getting the um the chlorophyll, the proper chlorophyll, then what you're doing is you putting plaque. You ever worked on them in soil like two days afterwards? Well, I noticed that with me, by me being on the road and being on tour, my body take longer to process animal products. So I go vegan because No, you talking about like like using the bathroom. Take a long time to digest the bathroom. It take it take like maybe fourteen days just to digest meat. I never been vegan before. In your life? Never. Should Shit. I try? Is it hard? If you just going from being, being, if you just going from being, like say if you going from being, just I eat steaks every day to just really just going all the way vegan. See, this is more like this is more like cooked food. This replicate like tacos, your hamburgers. You got instead of um, hot wings, you got the, the buffalo cauliflower. Okay, you know, I fuck with those. It's fried the same way and all that, but it's a healthier option. I ain't about to say it's the healthiest. It's just healthier. But then I still do a lot of supplements too. But it's just easier for my body to break down something that's plant-based as opposed to something that's animal product-based. Mm. So if I do eat meat, I probably do it like twice a month because I still love steaks and shit. But when I'm working super hard like this, I go all vegan. Maybe one day, I got some questions for us though. Ask me no questions, I tell you no lie. What that is? I don't know. He got fries in it though. Oh, this shelf. What's they just cut it and fried it, I guess. What shelf? It's got almost like a a chicken replica. It almost like a substitute chicken. It's cool. <laughs> that jackfruit my shit though. And then I like the I like the vegan burgers, but we ain't got nothing today. This, this supposed to be chicken too, huh? Yeah, that's like hot wind. That's like, but that's fried cauliflower and shit like that. But I like the jackfruit because it like, it's like a beef substitute for me. I like it on my taco. Chill, chill, chill. Chill. I try this shit real quick, man. I've been good. It tastes like a regular taco. If I would have told you that it was vegan, you wouldn't have knew. You wouldn't have knew nothing. So this gonna make me healthy. It's gonna be healthier. It's a it's a it's a better alternative to just eat meat every day, but you still gotta look out for processed vegan food. It's a little too much, man. Somebody said you gotta plan on making music. You gonna be in the stool, man? Do we plan on making music? He played me some shit y'all ain't never heard before. I ain't tell him, man. Hmm. Don't even tell him. He played me some shit, y'all in the room. I'm like, hold on, man, home at night, you know. He played me some shit. 
I was like, hey, let's go. Get some shit in. It's just a schedule. This is my first tour, like, this is my first big, big tour. You know what I'm saying? I remember my own little headline and shit. But it ain't never been like, I ain't been on no bus. I did my shit on the Sprinter. That's how I started? Yeah. I think my Isla tour, I went, I did that whole tour on a, uh, in the Infinity truck. Damn. It was me, my two kids, and I had two dogs, three dogs. I had one of my bullets, two Frenchies, my driver, and Drake. And we was going city to city to city to city, getting hotel room. I'm talking about a whole tour. Damn. Driving all over the country. How I, much, this is a personal question. How much, you, on your first tour, how much you made? It was like more of a loss. It wasn't, I wasn't really making my first, first tour I ever went on. It was more of a, me to gain my following. And I had to sacrifice like going in the clubs, getting the big money out the clubs to do hard ticketed tours. So I was like, you know what? If I want to grow my fan base as far as hard ticket sales, like we've been, this live nation we've been doing. And it seemed pretty successful so yeah. far by the grace of God. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to build my touring fan base. And the way you do that is in the beginning, you got to sacrifice. You got to. So now I'm to a point where I could take people on tour with me yeah. and we could cross market. I could take whatever orders I want that I'm that I'm working at the time and let them open up for me, bring them out on my set and it just, I don't know. It's like the it's the people watch, they get to see you grow with them. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Cause a lot of the people that I met, the first time I ever came when it was only 10 people in the crowd. Yeah. I see a lot of them now that it's sold out arenas and shit. So. It's just been beautiful just to see the growth. Yeah, yeah. And this is my first tour I ever felt like, like I was telling you, this is my first tour I ever felt like free. Wow. Like, like I see it's going in the air now for the first time in my life. Now nah, you better be packed up, man. Make sure y'all get y'all some tickets. No cap. Only if you want to. Let me see. Look, the fans that we don't have is the fans that we don't want. Either you like us or you don't know us. That's facts. That's it. Like you love us to death, but you don't know us at all. Yeah. What made you do to jump on stage? There ain't nothing new. I've been jumping like that out the gym. <laughs> I think it was people just not seeing it. It's so shocking to them for their first time. You so got, them, you got them up, nigga. You gonna be hooping? Mm -mm. I'm just fast as a bitch. Shout out to the law enforcement. <laughs> I never worked for them, but I ran from them. So, you know, they helped me get better. Like, I, I just always been athletic. But I've been doing that. It just was amazing to people because they never had saw me do that before. Yeah. No, that shit went viral. It really depends on the energy. If I'm all the way feeling it, feeling it, I'm you in the air. You hit the jump. Is it a certain song you hit the jump on? Yeah, I don't get tired. What made you become muzzled? My, my daddy Muslim. And my mama and them side of the family, they like Christians, Catholics, and all that. So a lot of them used to tell me that once that my that my daddy and them side, they didn't agree with that, it was bad. I was going to hell, all that shit. But I'm like, man, these are the nicest people on earth. So I had to study for myself. Cause I just ain't I just had to study for myself and see. But I always used to go through the prayers and do all that. But I did I when I started really just following and slamming my heart, I'd say like maybe two thousand and eight or nine. Like, you know, it was always a part of my upbringing, but I never really followed it. Yeah. Cause it was in my household. So you get your mouth on your on the other side. Yeah, so so how long was you locked up for? Which time? The last time, the longest time. What was the longest you was locked up? The last time I was going 31 months. I knew it was the best early. The last time I went to jail, I didn't understand it because I was like really innocent, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Cause it started that, it started, it started my journey. Yeah. That was the time when I said, man, I gotta do something different. I gotta operate different. And it's just been like, it's been, 
So I, you making it seem like it ain't that bad. Well, Jay, I heard man, that shit was terrible. If you a real nigga, you can live off the land. The reason is, it is terrible. You away from your family, you away from your children, you away from the people that love you. Yeah, it's terrible in that aspect, but as far as your alone time and you, if you're a person that could be alone and be with yourself, and it's gonna be beautiful because you're in a reflective state. Yeah. Every day you wake up, you thinking about the things that you need to do different. See, when I used to go to prison, I used to think about better ways or smarter ways to just go back to jail. Eventually I was going back, but this time when I, I was had time to really reflect and it come with maturity also. I was like, you know what? I'm really gonna change my people, my places, and my things. Even the things that I read this time was different. I always been a law library, but I used to be in a law library trying to find something with my case or this and this and that. This time, I was in a law library like really studying and getting an understanding of the law and really learning how to operate within the confines of the law. And this is what really spirit me into a different direction. So now that I'm on this path, it's like, it's beautiful. Yeah. Then I noticed when I started eating healthy, started making healthy decisions, I started having healthy thoughts, and everything was about habits. So the way I break habits, if I wanted to do something negative, I just stop and do push-ups. I, I correct that habit. I think it takes 21 days for something to form into a habit. So it's about creating healthy habits for myself. The same thing, I'm just, like I'm not no super disciplined person, but I just replace my negative habits with healthy habits. And that's just where it been. But this is the best thing that ever happened in my life because it started that journey for me wanting better for myself, which it was painful. Because, you know, like a lot of my partners still to this day, they be like, man, we want the old gates back. And I'd be like, you want the gates that was on drugs? You want the gates that was always miserable, depressed and shit? You want the gates that was drinking alcohol, always drunk? That's the gates you want? Like, that's the, you don't want the gates that because it's a different lifestyle now. Yeah. I can't go hang out with you at the club because I got to get up at 2, 3 in the morning to go work out. So my life was re revolved around fitness now. And it made me feel good. It's like, it feel better than the other the other bullshit I was doing. Yeah, That's just a band-aid. Fitness lasts with you a long time. Yeah, I'm trying to. You got to let me know next time you work out. I don't, I don't really do much. I, I like to do abs. I do a lot of abs. I got a, I got a crucial ab routine. Yeah, I need to get in the gym, man. I ain't been doing shit. It's the healthiest I ate the whole tour. No, oh, you got right. that beet juice? I ain't got no beet juice. I got grapefruit juice. Fuck it, I drink it. You yeah. got it? Grab the grapefruit juice. I say, I say, you do your grapefruit juice when you first get up, cause it detox the body. You could drink it now, though. Hey, you ain't gonna do nothing for me right now. It's gonna mean it's all. Anything you do putting your body that's healthy gonna always do something for you. How much I supposed to drink? I eat ounces like a cup. I drink a glass of it in the morning. This is just sour to me. It got a different taste. It's sweet and sour. I think I ate a grapefruit before. I wasn't really fucking with it. I love it, but I be mixing mine like with sea moss in the morning. Let me get some sea moss, please. I never had it before, but I hear that's like the best shit for you. It's the best. I don't get what it do though. What do it do? So I be seeing, um, it get, it's 102 of the minerals. It's, it's 92 of the 100 and five minerals that your body need. So the best thing to do, I think, is what I would recommend mixing it with bladder rate. I forgot it's, it's, I forgot how many minerals it is, but I know it's like like 92 of the 105 minerals. I could be wrong. Don't yeah. quote me on that. Cause yeah. they love to challenge Kevin, man. I, I be forgetting the shit y'all trying to learn. Yeah. But, uh. <laughs> What's his name? But, NLE Chopper be selling CMOS. Yeah. You got my supplement bag? And I need a shaker. It's real salty. It tastes like ocean water. For real? Yeah. Like real salty. Yeah. But look, when we get the feeling, I'm gonna have a gel for us. I'm gonna have a sea moss gel. What's gonna what is gonna make me what's gonna what's gonna happen to me now? You're gonna be superhuman. I probably got something on the other push. You know, they don't touch my healthy shit. Yeah. They don't they don't steal my healthy shit. I was gonna ask you, how you feel about uh, relationships? What kind of relationship? Shit. I'm in one of the greatest relationships ever right now. What kind? I'm in a relationship with me. You know, I never really had love myself. So now that I'm learning to love myself, it's gonna make it easier for me to love somebody else. Yeah. See, the way that we feel about ourselves is a reflection of how we treat other people. 
So you can't truly love nobody unless you love yourself. It tastes like salt, like seawater. Yeah, it's not bad though. I love it. And you might, you might purge. What I mean by purge is, you might have to go to the bathroom like number two. Because it's it's so healthy. It's gonna flush everything out your body that don't need to I be. I ate enough. terrible yesterday. Yeah, you might go. I ate terrible yesterday. I ate bad. Oh my god. But you know, like I say, the beautiful thing is, you know, we correct old habits with, with positive habits. I know I done put way more of a shit in my body than you. And the beautiful thing about the body is it, it rejuvenates itself. It heals. And when you really get into it, like you start, maybe you going like a juice fast or a juice cleanse. Like you may take, start off for your first time, like three days, just juice. Yeah. Do grapefruit juice in the morning. At the end of the night, I like to do tart cherry juice because it remove all the inflammation out your body. It, it antioxidizes the liver, your kidneys, all your organs. I like um, cranberry juice because it clean out your urinary tract. Like when we drink like caffeinated drinks and shit, it, it fuck with your urinary tract. Then I like um, I like grape juice because it, it help clean out your digestive system. Like non-concentrated, everything I drink is non-concentrated. And of course water, like a gallon of water a day, two gallons of water a day, keep your body flushed out. Damn. Man, I'm talking about you. You're gonna be superhuman. I turned 24 at midnight. Man, we lit. We turn it up tonight. Yeah, my birthday today. Man, we turning up tonight. Okay. Usually when I do like a, a a project or a release or man, I gotta go celebrate. I go straight to the gym and I just celebrate. Yeah, you go to the gym tonight. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's it's whatever it is that you find pleasure in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It is you you know, you with some of the men, you know, y'all might smoke a cigar or something for y'all first time. That's my thing. I'm a cigar connoisseur. But it's just like me being on tour right now, I just I ain't been having them, I ain't been really smoking them, but I'm a cigar connoisseur, like that's my shit. I be smoking weed, man. Ain't nothing weed bad, huh? Shit, no, it's a herb. It's a, a lot of people say that. A lot of people be like, see, my thing is this, if it came from the earth, it's good. Yeah. God made it, you know what I'm saying? So when people say, man, you know, I'm supposed to smoke weed, it's a plant that grows from the earth, it's a herb. Look at all the health benefits with marijuana. Like what, I don't even know, I just be getting high. Yeah, it's all kind of health benefits with it. It's just a beautiful thing. I mean, I just don't smoke because I'm like, I'm so focused right now. Yeah. But when I when I do slow up, when I finally slow up and had that time where I could just have that relaxing moment, I'm gonna get high as a bitch. I got hella weed, man. Just let me know. <laughs> I was thinking about. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was thinking about having kids, bro. I wanted to see your opinion on that. I was thinking, I really want kids for some reason. I know I'm only 24, but like, I think a kid is what I'm missing in my life. I got everything. I don't. I, really I don't think so. I got everything I want. Bro. I don't think so. I don't, and I hate to say it like that. I mean, once I had my 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 daughter, that's when I really really got focused. Yeah. Super focused. So it added. A focal point into my life that I never knew I had. But I'm gonna be honest, it's about having kids with the right person. Mm. People you, keep saying that. You and this woman gotta be like, you ever heard the term equally yoked? Yeah. Like y'all gotta be on the same page because what you impute to the kids may be different than what she impute to the kids. Yeah. So I just I would I would wait. Until 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 that right person, you know, come into your life, I, I would prefer it be a planned pregnancy. Like, I want more children. I do. I want four children. That's what I want. How many you got? I got four. I want four more. I want all the girls, if possible, because, like, the love them. I know I'm never going to get another Easter like my daughter, but them girls, they loyal. They is they a different kind of loyal to their daddies. If you raise them right and you put the time in, like, with my daughter... I was on the phone with her last night. I said, listen, I'm going to come wash your hair and condition it for you. And she was like, yeah, daddy, I think that'll be a good idea. Because every time the other people do my hair, it hurts. I say they're not doing it with the gentleness. And, the, and the, it just taught me how to be nurturing and gentle yeah. with my daughter. You know, if my son fall out, I'm going to tell him, hey, get up, little nigga. You know what time it is. 
Yeah, but if my if my daughter <laughs> fall on the ground, I'm gonna be come on, baby, it's all right. Where, where, where your bobo at? Let me kiss it. Like not to get off subject, but if I was you, I make sure you do it with the right person. It's beautiful to have children. You wouldn't want to get married <clears throat> then have a child. I think I want to have a kid first, just because I don't know. I want to know how the girl is, like if we have a kid. You know what I'm saying? I know that's kind of backwards, but it's just like. Say I get married to a girl and then we had a kid and then it completely go left. I know what you mean. Like most women, like after they have a motherhood kick in, they go cold yeah. with you. Yeah. They'll go cold with you and start giving all the attention to the child. You mean like that? I mean, I don't, I never had a kid, so I don't know. They got some women that's like that. And it's not that they trying to be like that, but they super practical. When motherhood kick in, it's like they not thinking about themselves anymore. Yeah. You just carried this child for nine months. You just stop eating the wrong foods. You just start being healthy and all of that for nine months. You carried this child, you sacrificed. So that motherhood kicked in. So now the motherhood gonna make this woman be more protective of this child. And parents don't have all the answers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Our children are our greatest teachers. So I understand what you mean. Cause a lot of my partners tell me that like, man, it's like soon as she had the kids, bro, she changed on me. It's not that she changed on you. It's just motherhood kicked in. So she not thinking about being super sexual with you and you got yeah. these sexual desires. She not thinking about that no more. She She's here to be a caretaker of this child. Yeah. So, I mean, I would commend a woman that's like that. Like, that you gonna take care of my children the right way? You know, don't leave me out the equation, baby, because you know the children gonna get 18 and they gonna be going to college. And, you know, don't come in here trying to love on me again. So I'm like, well, man, I guess it's just me and you. No, nah, I mean, keep that same energy. <laughs> I would get married, me. That's just me. Yeah. That's just me, though. I, I ain't telling nobody else what to do, but I like that. I gotta find the right one, man. I, I like that family shit. That's yeah. just what I like. That's what I like, too, you know? I'll be on that bus in the back lonely, man. Yeah, it ain't nothing like the security of your if you know that the woman really there for you yeah if and then your but shit really you, it's hard when you already up that's what i'm saying you really don't be knowing who it's really hard when you already up it's difficult fuck. yeah and then that's when, why i be trying to fuck with girls that like got their own shit going for they gotta let something going it's on it's like you know you 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 gotta be fucking with me for me because you got your own shit already right you don't need my money you know what i'm saying you don't need necessarily need something from me type shit you know I like mean? I like I mean stability is more attractive yeah. as as once you start having like I look at a woman that's stable like yeah. she she can hold her own without me I just don't want to you I don't just, need me you want me a wise woman told me that then want somebody that's more powerful than needing them yeah baby I need you no I need me baby I want you like it's more powerful when the woman just wants you yeah. But I like them, I ain't gonna lie. I like a female that always got something to do. I just don't be, I don't be liking to turn females up and then they get to dipping. They get beside themselves? Yeah, and then they, and then you know, they, you just like you turn somebody else up. You better somebody else for somebody else. I understand that, but I ain't really got that feel. Let me get that T right though. I don't have that feel because I look at it like this. I look at it like this. If, if I turn you up, I was a blessing to your life. You know what I'm saying? You can go be with any other man that you want to, but my wealth, but I, this peppermint tea, I just drink this like it's, I'm a coffee connoisseur, but while I'm on the road, I can't really have coffee because caffeine dry you out. I drink a little bit of coffee every now and then. I bless myself on off days, but right now I'm doing peppermint tea. Can I, can I get some? I get them, get them together, beloved. Let me get some. But I was saying when you turn somebody else for somebody else, turn somebody else up for somebody else, that's not my fear. Like, I, I I don't have a dick measuring contest with my woman because I want you to be powerful. I want you to be empowered. I want you to make your own money because I want you to get strong because you're going to make my job that much more easy because we're a team, we're a unit. Yeah. Now, if you do step away, I don't have no fear you leaving because I know what I bring to the table. I brought intangible wealth to the table. You know, you ain't just love me for my money. And, and you, you love me for my morals, my principles. You love me for my mind. You love me for the way I believed in you. Ain't no other man gonna believe in you. They lusting after you. I was loving on you. 
And then when, if you do decide to leave and go be with somebody else that's turned up, you'll be back. But you know, what if I'm you want them what if I'm unaccepted? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you let, like you, let debt, you let debt touch you. How you gonna come back over here to this? And I was faithful. That's what I'm saying. For as long as you allowed me to be. You heard me? Cause I'ma go where I'm 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 I'ma go. I was faithful for as long as you allowed me to be. But I'ma go where I'm celebrated, not where I'm tolerated, baby. Cause we ain't like my mama say, we ain't never doing no chasing. We only replacing. Yeah, no chasing, we only replacing. Yes sir. And even when it hurt, no surrender, no retreat. You gotta fight for you. And most people don't understand what that mean by fight for yourself. It's certain shit you're not even supposed to allow. Cause you got too much respect for yourself to even allow that. And I think a lot of time as people, women and men, we sacrifice ourselves to make shit work. And I don't think it should be that. I think we should choose ourselves first and love ourselves and we should want to want each other. If we don't want each other, then she, hey, what is we doing? You know, that's why I tell every man, well, I ain't gonna even speak on it. No, go ahead, man. No, I ain't gonna speak. This is time to speak. I ain't gonna speak on it. I ain't gonna speak on it. I ain't gonna speak on it. They, they think I'm, you know, people think I'm crazy already anyway, but I'm winning. <laughs> but they think I'm crazy. Man. No, I was gonna say this. Man. You know, they got men out there that'll say, I don't wanna be with this particular woman because she she's slutty. Yeah. But I say in all of my songs, baby, sexual energy is healing. If you're not slutty, we're not dugging. So why would I, you gonna marry this 10, but you still gonna be with this two and this three because she extra slutty. Yeah. Or this four and this five, you know, so because she's extra slutty. So why not just be with you something that's beautiful and slutty? I just, I just give me the slut that's loyal. And I'm cool, babe. I love yeah, it, when, I, babe. I love it when you work out. Now let me see you work out. You know, I'm just saying, like that's just me. I'm passionate about that. Now I feel you. I'm passionate about that. I really believe that. I don't be looking at girls past or like. You I know don't care. Girl. I got a big long dick. I don't give a fuck about your past. I don't care. Yeah, he got the, <laughs> You was a virgin when I got you, cause you couldn't take no dick. So I ain't even worried about who you been with. How, how many bodies you say you got, beloved? <laughs> I don't believe you prove it. <laughs> prove it. <laughs> but that's me though. See, I don't live off what somebody else tell me. Because the way I govern my household or govern my relationship with any woman I'm with, it's gonna be different. Yeah. We're not gonna be lying to each other. Right. This woman's gonna be free to be herself. So she's not gonna be lying to me about nothing because I'm not gonna lie to her. Baby, where you been? I've been fucking. You gonna help me wash these sins off? Me? Because a woman got intuition anyway. So you know, but then, but then, like, you know what I've been doing before I do it. If I do go fuck another bitch, then fuck you. Your pH level's gonna be up. But is that real love though? If you really, if if y'all just fucking other people, what you mean? Like, is what's the point of that? That at that point, it's just a talking stage. Y'all just fucking around, right? Mm, Not no, really no, together. This, this, this my wife. I want you to be my wife because you slutty. Bitch, you a squirrel. I need I need you in my life. I don't wanna. You, I go, hey, look, I'm like how they say on Jeopardy. Look, I'll take the slut for 200. That's just me, though. I'm I'm cool. Every man like what they like. See, most men don't have the, they have insecurity issues. Mm -hmm. So that you, you're not going to be able to be with something that's, that's really that pressure. See, I, I could be with that pressure because I can be alone. I don't need nobody around me. I love me first. And this, this woman going to always know that. Like, this not no baby. Kevin, I love you. You don't have a choice. You, there's no one like me on earth. There's no one like me on earth. But see, you gotta also understand, I come from the game too. Yeah. So I come from the game, the real game. So by me coming from the game, I respect the game. And I'm gonna govern my household accordingly. Wait, what's the game? Like the streets. No, I come from the game. Like, I come from there. Like my mama, you know, the way she live in it. You know, things of that nature. I learned a lot with that. Like, is it real love? Yeah, it's real love. So y'all can cheat on each other. No, I don't mean like that. See, that's an open relationship. Yeah, that, that's kind of what you just said. Though. No, I said I want the woman that slid. You might have got, you might have had some field experience and got your credentials up. Yeah. You know, in the field. You know. She like a hall of fame. Yeah, you you got your field you got your field credentials up before you came to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you true. an expert you an expert in this field. Yeah. Yeah. You got a lot of other great qualities. Also, it can't just be six. 
Yeah. Like, yo, yo, it gotta be, you gotta be intellectually inclined. You gotta challenge me. You know, I want a woman that's gonna make me hold myself accountable. I want a woman that's gonna be like challenging, like challenge me to step outside the box and be greater than myself. Like me and you doing this right now. It's something different for me. It's outside my comfort zone. I don't even do this shit, but I'm doing it with you. Like, yeah. so, you know, when you got a woman that's challenging you to step outside the box and she slitted, yeah, that's a plus. I fuck with it. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about like you go out in the streets and 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 give your body to all these different men to come back. I might as well go and start pimping this. I might as well. Yeah. You might as well be paying me now. Exactly. Yeah, I might as well. That's see. why I'm like. Yeah, nah, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about I ain't judging you based on your past. I'm glad that you got the feel. But after you. after they with you, they. Psh. What time will tell? I'ma know. You know what I'm saying? Time will tell all. But I ain't about to go off your reputation. Now, if you done did something pussy like I you, feel like that's I feel like it's childish to blame a girl on her past. I love all that. I love that. Like when I used to be in the hood, like. You know, my partner used to, man, why you fuck with her, man? She suck dick. She showed dude. Don't even worry about them, sweetie. Let's go. I'm not on kill. That's why I love her. What you mean? <laughs> Clown <and> goofy. <laughs> That's why I love her. Man, she don't do nothing but suck dick. She showed dude. Do it. Hey, real good job, too. Come on, let's go, baby. Don't even worry about them, sweetie. Let's go. That's just me. That's my philosophy. Because what y'all eat don't make me sh Oh, where were we? Oh, yeah. I don't worry about, I learned how to not worry about what people say because I've been a victim of verbal abuse my whole life. You ain't shit. You ain't never gonna be shit. You the devil. You know, and I let that verbal abuse, I believe that's one of the worst things a person could undergo because it'll affect you. I think verbal abuse is worse than, than anything else. Because it'll affect you emotionally, psychologically, and physically. It'll stunt your growth. A motherfucker I was telling you what you can't be. And you get to believe in that silly ass shit about yourself. Yeah. And then, man, you know, after that, when you break them chains of verbal abuse and you start realizing just anything somebody tell you, reverse it. Because they just projecting. They projecting their fears onto you. Man, fuck you. Yeah. Man, I'm with this. Yeah. And we turn. Yeah. Yeah. See, he want to be all holy on the camera. You <laughs> he was in here talking about turning up and everything. I don't know what you're talking about, man. But look, hey. What? Hey man, look. <laughs> I think Kevin trying to make. I think you should start making vlogs. You should drop a vlog. Put me in that motherfucker, man. What you say? Like what? We Once do, a week? We do it up? Nah, you gotta do it every day. Every day. Every day. A vlog. That's the only way you can do it. I tell them all the time. Like if you gonna do it, you gotta do it every day. So you do this every day? I mean, I stopped because I've been focusing more on music, but it's like. When I was heavily into it, I did it every day. Sometimes twice a day, three times a day. Vlogs. Like this? Yeah. This is long as hell, but I it usually be like eight minutes, ten minutes. How many minutes we been on here? Probably like 30. I'm probably edited it down to probably like 10, 15. But you should do it every day. So take my lives and start putting them on my YouTube. Nah, just don't go live. Just talk to the camera and put it on oh, YouTube. Oh, say no more. Yeah. Go live, but I'm saying like, Post it on YouTube. I think they want to see that. They want to see what you do every day. How to, you know, how to clean your body out and shit. I just like the way it makes my body feel. That's it. See, most people think I I, I like to work out and all that because I want to be this just this fit guy. That's not what it is. You know, I just had one. I placed in the uh. I just come back from Brazil. I had placed in the uh the in the in the Dixmanship Olympics. You heard me. You know, I'm a real Dixman out here. You know, actually, oh, I was in that too. You was? Yeah. Did you place? I placed. I um, I did it the year before you did that. Oh shit, yeah. Well, we bring home trophy. We bring home the gold medals this year. Yeah, man. <laughs> bring it home too. But that's why I work out though, because it, it increases everything. It's just beautiful, man. It, it make your sexual health good. And a lot of people be like, man, you talk about sex a lot because I'm healthy. Kids having erectile dysfunction because they putting the wrong shit in they in their body taking Viagra and Cialis and all that shit, which that's cool if that's what you like to do, you know. But you know, I just come back, you know, big gold medalists out here, you heard? Man, it make me think better, I'm sharper. All of my best ideas come up when I'm working out. Best ideas for songs when I'm working out. You releasing endorphins, it just make you feel good. 
Yeah. Days I don't work on them, I'm a grouch. Days I do work on them. Oh, you worked out already today? I'm about to. What's up, man? That could be your first vlog. Get some workouts in, man. Shit, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll probably show them a little core routine. Yeah. My little core routine. Nothing special. But it's what it's the core routine that got me strong enough to start working at will. And once that core strong the wheel, did this shit? Yes, Lord. It's it's that good, huh? It's de it's deadly. That's my I'm baby. Gonna, I'm gonna get on it. A lot we of got one on the bus. I haven't been using it. A lot of though. people they they hate that wheel and they don't like her. Yeah. I tell everybody this is my girlfriend. Yeah. You are the reason that I am the way I am. You the reason I got this endurance and this core strength that I got. Yeah. You the reason I get under that heavy shit and go crazy because everything come from the core. Yeah. Your core strong, man. Everything strong. Yeah, get my core stronger. Get on that wheel. Make some more see my. I'm about to order see my as soon as I go back to my bus. Yeah, that see my. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna give you they uh they information. You go all the straight from them. Yeah. I like them, but when we get to Philly though, man, I'm gonna have you laced up. King earning them. They be going out there on the water, getting it off the rock. They harvest it off the rock. Man, this see Mars here is the truth. He already got it gelled up, mixed with the bladder wreck. What's bladder wreck? It's another like, I forgot. It's another mineral that your body need, mm -hmm. and it's like the sea moss and that make up the 105 minerals that your body need. I'm talking about, and once you put that in your body, you ain't even gotta eat. You can go all day. It's retarded. It's it's gonna have you like that. It got a salty, salty taste when you first get on it, but after that, man, it's gonna have you just different. You gonna feel different. Your body ain't gonna get sore. It's just gonna just you gonna be able to go forever. This shit make you just uh I don't know. This shit got you superhuman out you. Shit, man, we better rock the show tonight, man. We in motherfucker. Where we in Indianapolis? Yeah, we in Nap Town right now. Yeah. Yeah, we in Nap Town. In Nap Town, tomorrow is what? Grand Rapids. Get my birthday at midnight, man. Tomorrow Grand Rapids. Niggas gotta turn up something, do something. Son, hey, you know you my brother like, you my brother like all time favorite rapper, bro. The nigga you met. Yeah, I seen him. Yeah, that's that's uh, he do YouTube too. Man, I'm about to be a YouTuber. Yeah. Hey, I'm officially a YouTuber. Yeah. I'm about to be a YouTuber. I swear to God, I'm gonna tell people like Kevin Gates, where you know I listen to all your music. You know I'm a YouTuber. I just make music, but I'm a YouTuber. I'll be the opposite. What was that? What? I make music. What? I'm. Nah, I don't do YouTube, I make music. Yeah, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, fuck that. Yeah. I've been on this shit for six years, though. But you'll be amazed, like, it's people that really watch you, though. That's what I be, like, I be doing this shit, but I don't really be thinking in my head, like, niggas be coming up to me like, bro, I've been watching you since I was 12. Man, I'm telling you. And they 18, 19. Man, they got dudes walking to me, man, you doing, you on, the, on there with DDG? I'm like, yeah. Man, I used to be watching them on YouTube. They was telling me you was doing some boxing shit. Yeah. So I went and checked it out. I'm like, yeah. That's why I asked you. I said, you box, box, like box for real. You're like, yeah, I've been boxing since I was. I'm like, I ain't big. Yeah, man. You got to go ahead and box somebody. Never. That shit fun, though. It is. It's just. It is, but it is. If but. I would have lost, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be on this tour. I would have had to just cut it all off. It ain't that. It ain't even chewed me alive. I didn't have a choice but to win. It it ain't about it ain't about losing or winning with me. It's more like this: if we doing it out of being we friendly, just sparring, that's cool. Yeah. But once you go to get the with the shit talking and all that to try to promote it, it, it take the it take the love out of it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what. Because I done met great fighters, but once they do all that extra shit, like to me, that's gonna be like. I, Unsportsmanlike conduct, like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm being fucked up towards this other person. But yeah. Like with combat, I'm supposed to respect this person. This is my opponent, but we fighting to make each other better. You gonna show me? You gonna expose? You gonna expose every lie? You gonna confirm every truth? Man. Once we get in that ring. Yeah, the little press conference I did. Niggas was getting hit with glasses. That what I'm. Shit, that what I'm saying. So we, hey, we not even gonna make it to the ring once we get to that level. Right. Yeah. I'm gone. Y'all gonna get, get y'all gonna get my little spot ready, cause here I come, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Here I come. Throwing glasses and all that. See, that's why I just I I I I feel like I'm held responsible for the place I place myself, so I'm gonna stay 
I'm gonna stay out there. Yeah. That's not my thing. I they were shit talking to you. Yeah, man. I put up to the press conference and I never met the nigga before, right? Yeah. You know, everything's smooth online, but I see him and it's like a bunch of cameras and shit. They talking crazy. To sell a fight. To sell the fight. But I'm like, bro, the camera's not really like, this not even a part of the fight. We not even at the press conference yet. Is this real? And then I'm thinking to myself like, damn, am I supposed to beat your ass after we leave this press conference or am I supposed to act? Into the fight, you know what I mean? Like it's weird. Boxing is weird, bro. Like I just didn't yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, can't, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. Yeah, cause it's like forgive me. I can't. I can't. That's like when Canelo, you know, that's one of my favorite. But he was telling dude, man, don't never disrespect my mama and all that. You know, it just socked his ass. I just, I just can't do that. Yeah. Like I, I can't do that. I can't just disrespect no man for no reason. It just my heart ain't gonna let me do that. Yeah. But man, and then you doing it to me? Oh my God, no. Oh God, no Kevin. Yeah. It's a little weird, man. Yeah, I, I, they can have it. <laughs> they can have it forever. When the next time you gonna hop on the vlogs? Shit, I'm gonna do one today. I'm gonna do one for you today. I'm gonna go in the gym and work out. Yeah, post the blog on your channel, man. No cap, make sure you go check him out. Go check out his vlog, see if he a good YouTuber. I'm gonna try. Yeah. I think that shit gonna be cool. It's gonna be lit, it's fun. This shit is actually fun, bro, and it's going to give you something to do every single day because, like, the motherfuckers you see in the crowd is going to be in your comments. Oh, my God, give it blah, blah, blah. And then they going to come up to you at the show. Oh, CMOS. Whatever they say to you when they see you shit because yeah. whatever you talk to them about. It's dope. This is how you build a real, like, a real, real, like, internet. You got the streets. You know what I'm saying? You got the streets to in-person shit, like, He's my, like my, my brother fans, he put me on to you. This nigga is like singing your songs like, like, like he like, man, Kevin Gates got me through so much, bro, blah, blah, blah. I hear that a lot Yeah, too. that's what I'm saying. If so five like, people don't walk up to me a day and just cry, and I, you know, I be trying to do my workout and shit, but they got people walk up to me and, man, you got me through so much, or yeah. you stopped me from committing suicide, you stopped me from this, you stopped me for that, and I think that, People seeing my journey, they seeing that it's light at the end of the tunnel. They yeah. like, man, it is it is light at the end of the tunnel. Because we come from so much negativity shit. Even you. Yeah. We come from so much negativity, but we doing something positive. We turning our pain into passion. Yeah. And I think that's the most beautiful thing you could do in life. See, people be, take, people be trying to like, it's this thing out there where people call me like a, a YouTube rapper. Because I do YouTube and I rap at the same time. So they try to like, dumb down my music because hey let me tell you something do you think i would be honest with you yeah. you think i'm an honest person like i call a spade a spade you know i call a spade a spade you done been around me like dude outside he was hey kevin do you mind if i take a picture yes sir i do mind but have a beautiful day like i would tell you like if you played your songs in here i'll tell you nah this ain't it i'll tell you that i swear to god I'm brutally honest, you know, babe, how you think I look? You want me to be honest? Like, if, if a woman, my, my, my woman tell me, babe, how you think I look? Babe, do you want me to be honest? Take that shit off ASAP. We ain't kept right now, today, take it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that. I like you natural, you know? So I'm going to be honest with you. Like, you nice. Appreciate like, it, you nice, nice. <laughs> like, you nice. I think I'm just one more away. One more of them. I say, I say that. I say that every time I'm one more away. But I feel like when you get that one, you gotta like do certain shit to get that next one. You know what I'm saying? Or you gotta be real selective of what your next one is type shit. Yeah, I just follow my heart. I don't even care anymore. That's like Big Gangsta. I put Big Gangsta out. The world wasn't receptive to it. But now it took all the way off years later. So I understand that I'm ahead. I understand that the world need to catch up to me. Right. I don't need to catch up to the world. Y'all in the slow lane. I'm in the fast lane. You know. So y'all got to catch up to me. I'm not about to stop being who I am and stunt my growth. I did that already. That dumbing it down. I'm not stunting my growth anymore to cater to people that can't catch up. Man, we want the old gates back. That's cool. Go listen to the old album. Because it's about growth. It's about elevation for me. You know, if, if if you can't respect that or can't understand it, hey, we're on two different frequencies, brother. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm in the out with it. 
Why you think I wear them feathers? I'm a big eagle. You ain't see me flying over. <laughs> I was thinking, bro. I'm gonna tell you this, man. You should sell some feathers, bro. I be seeing niggas in the crowd that look just like you. I'm gonna be honest. Like I had to earn those feathers. Oh, okay. They not for sale. Like I had to really, like, no food, no water for like four days. And you never even know when a chief don't go award you with a feather. It's just certain ceremonies, and a lot of them I can't speak on, but like I earned those feathers. So this is like, like some um, real indigenous people, like real Native Americans. And they was like them. That's like a one-on-one -on -one feather. Nah, they got on um, like to be gifted a, a eagle feather. They gonna gift it to you. When they gift it to you, is. It stand for the bravest, strongest, holiest path. Mm. And it's like, it was at a time in my life when I met these people that I was in a super dark place and just sitting with them and listening to their philosophies about life and just about healing and about things of that nature. It was so beautiful that like it, all, it, it made me cry thinking about it. Cause I'm looking at, and he was showing me how we all lose our way, but we find our way back to the straight path. And that was the thing about forgiving yourself and just continuing the journey. So, you know, me thinking that I would be getting fussed at or scolded by these people because of the way that I was acting, they saw something great in me and gifted me with more responsibility. So if I, I can't drink alcohol with an eagle feather in my head because I got to I gotta be on the bravest, strongest, holiest path. And right now that's the path I'm on because when you live in your truth, it makes everybody uncomfortable. And I understand it. So I'm really almost like alone right now. It's some people that's, that that understand it, but when you truly live in your truth, nobody's gonna get it. And I understand that now, and I'm cool with that. So yeah, am I scared? Yeah, I'm scared, but I answer that fear with bravery. Is the path rough? Yeah, it's rough, but I answer it with, being, with my strength, with me being strong. And is it is it holy? Yeah, it's holy, because it's sacred to me. My body, my temple is sacred now. So I'm careful about the things I put in my I put in my mouth. I'm careful about the things I, I allow myself to listen to. I'm careful about the things I let myself see because it's all intake. You intaking the things you see. You intaking the things you hear. You in the things you smell. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm big on that now. So I gotta remain sacred. Like even it's certain people that, you know, we gotta protect our energy and not even let people, certain people in our energy feel trying to you trying to drain me of my energy i gotta protect this and it's just it's beautiful it's like this right now this is giving me energy it's certain shit i was doing that it was draining me yeah because i can't be around nobody that ain't going where i'm going i can't that's facts forgive me i'm so not sorry okay this is gonna drag you down i think we gave him enough man yeah, we gonna chop this bitch up again, y'all. Yeah, chop it up, man. Appreciate you, dog. I appreciate you, baby. Now, we gonna do some more shit, man. I'm gonna get you in the vlog. I'm I just be, I just be, you know, walk around with them, the, uh, the phone and shit. But Kevin, oh y'all, vlogging uh, by tomorrow. I promise. I promise. By tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Can't love you till I love myself. Yeah. Don't hug me, I hug myself. Rolled up blunts, but the smoke don't help. Uh, yeah, okay. High go down and I miss you again. High go down and I roll up again. Typed up text I ain't never gonna see. Yes, okay.